What am I looking for? Here's the bream. I, I kind of don't care about making that stuff. Um. Hmm. Oh shit. Okay. Nope. Uh, don't use that in front of them, I guess. Ooh. Booby spinks, booby spinks, booby spinks. Doggo, doggo, doggo. a lot of experience okay uh don't know how to crop okay let's go to the chicken i highly doubt there's gonna be any chicken souls i'm gonna try Then, if that doesn't work, I'm going to go to the bridge and see if there's a dead body by the kid. Look, it's down, but it's not. It's annoying. There's a ghost nearby. Ghosts may linger anywhere they have unfinished business. Cool. I'm glad it notified me. God damn it. It was. Oh, there's a ghost chicken ghost. Uh, oh, everyone can see it. Thank goodness. We killed Peeper. God dang it. That's frustrating. I wonder what that would have done for me. Is there Aha! History. Doubled History. over in agony, the shivering magister spirit mumbles to himself, tightly clutching. Damn it, I'm upset that Peeper's dead. One fist. Noting the attention, he straightens, revealing insignia spelling Kinnit, and a jagged wound spilling his innards upon the ground. He reaches a ghostly hand into your chest and squeezes your heart. Ow! Why? Sense his source pumping through your heart? Sure. You become Kinnit. His memories flooding over you and replacing your own. Warmth. Comfort. You are Kinnit, playing cards with your mates in a cozy barracks. You it's like Sabeel eating body parts. The white-clad magister commands that one of your troop seek a lost caravan. It's a one-man job. A job no man wants. Your sly-eyed troop leader holds out straws to you and the others. Who will investigate? Draw the left straw. Feel the short straw and hear them shout, Kin it! You know what that means. A lonely traipse in the cold dark. You dawdle and grumble all the way, sobering as you find the overturned caravan. <laughs> what it had mattered? Massacre. Your lantern reveals ravaged corpses in every direction. Inhaling sharply, you smell a thick black stench you remember secondhand from the few void woken corpses your troops have found. Hmm. I sniff the air for danger. As you approach a dark thicket, the stench grows stronger. 
In a flash of void and blood, a claw rakes savage stripes across your guts. As Kinnit dies, all goes black. Stabbing Thanks for the history lesson. Deathly grasp, only your own blood now pumps through your heart. With your living eyes, you see him trembling in front of you, desperately holding out three straws. Hero, take all the straws. A short straw from his hands, Kinnit weeps with relief. His wound disappears in turn, and he's restored to the model image of a strapping young soldier. He looks around, then looks at you, and then he smiles. Smiling broadly, Kinnit fades away. Okay. He's finished cut. The spinish of a magister and a dwarf are locked in ethereal combat. Their vicious blows make no impact, yet they struggle on. Mid snarl, the dwarf spies your presence and staggers back to address you. Hmm. Sorcerer. You must hate the Reds as much as I do, eh? No friend of Magister's. So. Reds had sorcerers locked up tight in that caravan. And you know where they were sending him. You look like you've been there yourself. The Magister lunges for the dwarf, his exasperation clear. Anna, you saw it with your own eyes. You know sorcerer's law, Voidwoken. And you know we'd all still be alive if you hadn't attacked our caravan. I'm gonna say I informed him. Shoulders collapse with relief. His burden lifted, his spirit slowly fades to right. nothingness before your eyes. We tried to help your kind, and you'll help those who enslaved you? You're a wrong and a no mistake. How do I help you now? To say to one who parleys with magisters. Yes, indeed, that'd be you. Damn it. Alright, what about you? Can I do someone else? I've to say to one. Damn it. Alright, well. That guy screwed. Bull! The bull flips its ghostly tail at a non existent fly. <laughs> Ooh. The bull lazily chews non existent card. It registers your presence. Well, guess I should have seen that coming. Ask it what it should have seen coming. Dying, of course. As soon as they sent me pulling that there wagon, I should have known this was how things was going to end. Of course, I can see the future, and I did see this, but I honestly thought I was sleeping. You can see my future. I want to know. I want to. Sabia wants to know her future. Here is your future. The bull shakes itself, swallows the card, clears its throat. You're gonna die. Let me think about that now, too. Yeah. Mm, uh, okay. Right. Here we go. Soon. Maybe. The bull shrugs. Yeah. I don't suppose you could do me a favor on it's this here army so as I can make my way to the field of echoes. Heck yeah. I'm here. Chum. It's thanks and gently fades away. I know you'd say. Bye, bull spirit friend. Aw, we had a bull spirit friend. Cool. Alright, so this is going to be annoying if I have to keep constantly casting this thing. Feels all up there all alone. Alright, is there any skeleton friends here? I don't understand that, man. I don't know how to get over there. I wish spirits would get marked. Maybe they do. Isn't this where the lady was? Oh, that ice lasts forever. Maybe she died. I think she got hauled off. Well, let's see if she actually died. Mm, doesn't seem like it. Okay. I don't like that. I have to keep casting that. Hmm. 
Maybe I shouldn't. Will the game always warn me if there's a spirit around? I'm not sure. This. Kids. Alright, chicken. Can you tell me something? Besides just crying for peepers. Oh, he died. Sorry. Might be a body up here, right? Aha! The shimmering ghost of a lizard magister turns her gaze upon you. She holds your stare, boring into your mind, searching the blacks of your eyes for the secrets of your soul. But in so doing, she shows you hers. You are her memories. Susan, a young lizard magister devoted to the order. More than this, you are in love with a comrade. She was a magister? A human man of wit and kindness and sweet disposition who goes by the name of Boris. Horse died. Hide the manner of his death and the fact of it too. Allow the spirit's vision to continue. I want to know about him. You are Zeusan once more. Alexander dies. Worse, your human comrades look at you askance, as if his murder was your fault. Even Boris turns. Oh against no! You. When he's posted to Fort Joy, he does not say goodbye. Your heart is broken. And gentle commiseration sword then allow our members to continue. Posted to the graveyard shift in the dark of night on the outskirts of town, you do your duty diligently. But your heart is no longer in it. So when you catch a couple of young sorcerers fleeing Raymond's net, you see how deeply in love they are. You do not tell Aww. them. You help them to escape. But in the morning, they are caught and under torture give you up. They go oh, no. joy. You are hanged right here. Mm -mm. We're going we're gonna to tell her. She searches your soul once more, and in so doing, shows you hers. You are Zeusan, a young lizard magic. I'll tell him instead. In her eyes, quickly turns to empty, desperate, desolate sadness. She bows her head, as if this is the end. The last shred of what she thought was real has now gone. She takes one last wander through her memories. You are Zeusan once more. Alexander, your heart oh. is broke. Posted to the graveyard, you see how deep she bows her head, ready to, and she fades away. Oh, that was sad. Okay. Um. Do we go to the arena? And see if there's any dead people down there. Maybe we should follow people walking now because we might run into some dead people You're safe among friends. Never we have to be careful where uh, we cast it as well is this where the cellar was yeah it's up into the left right yeah okay The spirit of a magister stares dumbly at her translucent hand. Is this what, something that got eaten? My ring. Oh, I have my your ring. ring. What the happened? Spirit pivots her wrist, staring at the fingerless hand, utterly morbidly entranced. I should have been more careful. She hacked at my sword hand first. I couldn't defend myself. The spirit stares, absorbing your question. Finally, she points her fingerless hand towards the kitchen. Well, we already know the story. The looks at you with the smallest flicker of realization. I was still alive when she started cutting pieces off me. She wanted me to feel it. Oh, that's All fucked up. It. You know, your body the might be. ponders your question and seems to shiver. Got eaten. In many places. 
I feel my body in a hundred moving graves, warm and wet. She's feeling her body in the digestive tract. That's gross. Can I tell her what happened? Same as before. The, sp the ring. It was right here. On my finger. I do know things about the ring. She just stares at you mournfully. Oh, she was saying she was warm. I should have read that. The spirit of Wivlia glares at you with all the venom she can muster. All right, will this work? Or did it... The ring. Please find the ring. Who did I sell the ring to? I think it was this dude. There's another one. Nope, that's the same one. It was the cat. Damn it, dude. Who did I sell that ring to? I want to say it was this dude. If not, it was the person in the other area. Hmm. All right, bro. Get the hell out of here. I'm done talking. Shut up. I want that ring back. Yes. Oh, how lucky. Fine, I'll give you some gold for it. All right, uh... Will I be able to get in here? Hmm... I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get in here... ...and cast this... ...without a Magister freaking out. I'm gonna go in the kitchen and cast it, because no one's in here. And then hopefully we can give her her ring and make her chill out. You deserve to stay in hell, eternity, whatever, purgatory. Blam! All right, you got. Hold up! I got your ring. Please find. Yeah. Something shakes the magister's ghost from her stupor. Her gaze falls on the ring and brightens. My ring. What should I do with it? Take a long moment to sink in, like they're being translated for the netherworld. Return it home to my brethren. Oh, not to your bodies. Okay. Sure. The spirit smiles at you. If it weren't for the circumstances, it'd be almost heartwarming. Son of a... Who's your brethren? Uh... Alright, let's give it to... Magister... Barracks or whatever. Right away. I'm hoping this is war. This will work. Hey, dude. Uh, I found a ring, and uh, spirit told me to get it. And give it to no you. More so. Disappearances, no more deaths. It seems justice has been served. Yeah, I found a ring. The magister takes the ring from you. Uh, this was a conduct award. I gave it to Magister Harrick myself. She showed great promise. He stoically nods his thanks and turns away from you. All right, let's go tell her. Man, there's so much to this game. Yo. Smiles with content. She raises her hand in thanks. The one without the fingers? Spectral fingers now restored. Oh. What might be a ring on one of them? She vanishes. Bye, spirit friend. All right. Does anything change after all that happened? I have to know. If we can release this one, we're not. Wivlia's hatred for you seems to fill every inch of her spectral form. She doesn't say a word. She doesn't. Don't care. You crazy bitch. Cooking people and eating them. Not okay. 
All right. Uh, 